Hello guys from Belo Horizonte. We are checking in our Airbnb here. And uh, I'm glad Paolo is here with me because he can help me with the translation. So this one comes equipped with um, a garage. I mean a driveway, I'm sorry, a driveway. A secure driveway. And uh, we gotta go to, we gotta go to security and, and check in. No, I'm fine. Oh, I gotta close the door. Double check, we're gonna hit the elevator. So this city here is in the state of Minas Gerais. It's about an hour from uh, Rio de Janeiro. Today is uh, Sunday, so a lot of places are closed. So we'll see what we can get into as far as starting today and then taking it from here. Elevators are generally smaller in Europe, is it everywhere you go? They don't have the double XL size <laughs> elevators that we used to in the US. To the left. Okay. Mm -hmm. So guys, this Airbnb comes with a garage and then you have an additional sink right here. And your washer is right there. Okay. I won't need to do laundry while I'm here, but it's good to know that you can actually wash your clothes when you're here. And we're debating whether we're gonna rent a car instead of doing Uber after Uber after Uber. So you can bring the car right here. Your garage, actually I was saying garage, that was correct. So that's the driveway that leads into this garage and your car is completely secure here and safe. So if you come in here, uh, I'm gonna put uh, the link below for this Airbnb. Uh, you can actually rent and feel comfortable, you know, bring your car here and don't worry about safety and security for your car. So now we're going to go back up to the apartment. We are back in the apartment. So let me show you guys this place a little bit. So here you have a nice little couch here next to your dining section, dining room. You have a flat screen TV. Uh, which is nice so have, they have some wine glasses up there and this is the view that we have from here uh, just a normal neighborhood street one thing i really like i like to live like a local when i travel so it's a great experience with airbnb because you can actually like be in the neighborhoods and you feel like you live in a place look at this kitchen full burner top and uh, you have a nice size refrigerator that's gonna be nice and empty for us that's good we're gonna have to get some stuff you know a sink Let's see what they have. Oh, good. I like wine, so they have some wine glasses and, and then plates here. They have a nice water filter. Oh, water so water filter. You don't need to buy a water. That's right. Yeah, you can just filter it right there. Yeah. You got a nice little coffee, you know, cups there. If you do your little dishes, you can dry them right there. This is already the size of most hotel rooms. That's the benefit of if I do Airbnb. Hallway bathroom. One of the bedrooms right here comes with, I believe, I believe this is a king size bed. Yes, it looks like a king. And then you have your full bath right here, toilet, shower, sink, and then, um, you know, not much of a view on this side, not much of a view. If you've seen some of my previous videos before in Brazil, that's basically what you normally get for the air, the air conditioning here. And then they have these blinds that you can fold, you know, uh, with a push of a button, it will go up and down. Now, the closet space is huge. Look at this place. It's, uh, it's nice and uh, it opens here and opens here, okay? So, let's go to the next room. So, this is the other bath uh, bedroom here. You have the king or queen bed right there. Another big closet. Another big closet that it actually goes around and around additional blankets if necessary. Uh, you have a TV up here as well. And then you have another full bathroom right there. So the good thing with this is like, I'm here with Paolo, you know, we have two baths. You know, if I'm busy in the bathroom, he doesn't have to wait for me. 
you know, you got, you know, everybody got the bathrooms, you know, it's, it's extremely important to have those. So guys, I'm here in, uh, in Belo Horizonte, in the state of Minas Gerais. This is the home of Cachaça, one of the main Brazilian cocktail. We, we rented the Airbnb from hell. <laughs> we went to the grocery store. As you see, our grocery bags right there. And uh, why are we standing outside? Well, we're standing outside because the elevator doesn't work. So they have a very unique uh, security system, which I appreciate, but it's a little bit too much. So when this door is open, you cannot access this door, which is fine. So we came in, the door is locked, and then we walked right into the unit, right? So then we came over here, and this elevator has been stuck like this for the past two hours. So when I press this button, it's supposed to open the elevator, and then I put the number to access my floor. Well, when we try that, all the lights in the elevator went on, and that's it. It's been stuck that way. So we've been texting the owners for the last hour. She's been responding. But she sent someone here and he, he can't figure it out. The stairs, you might wonder. We did go up the stairs this way. We did. But guess what? That door is locked from the outside. You can only access it from the inside. And this is literally the lobby from this Airbnb. There's no second elevators. And the maintenance said they might take maybe an hour. We already been here for close to two. So it's gonna be three hours that we're standing here. We had evening plans and we stuck with our grocery bag on the grass. So this is the Airbnb from hell. <laughs> it's like, man, I'm never gonna stay here again. Uh, imagine if you have a flight in the morning and you come back late and you need to sleep to run to the airport in the morning, you're screwed. For lack of better words, you are screwed. Uh, in case of fire emergency, the stairwell is locked. How do you get out of here? You're screwed. And I don't know what the response time for the firefighters would be, but you, you're screwed. Even if they try to go up there in case of a medical emergency, there's nothing. So uh, it's a big question, what's better, hotels or Airbnbs? Personally, when I travel by myself, I prefer hotels, but when you're with a group or with a friend, it's better to do an Airbnb. And usually I don't have this kind of problems, but I'm stuck outside my Airbnb for the last two hours with my grocery bags <laughs> on the floor. Uh, there's no trips without adventures. So welcome to another day of adventures. I'll keep you posted. So guys, we're pushing three hours now. Still nothing, all right? You got a bug? Yeah. Oh, a little bug right there. Oh man. Three hours of waiting. The backup key is with the manager. The manager is not responding. And then the maintenance guy is not available. So we're gonna take our grocery bags with a little, you know, Coca-Colas and bottles of wine and all the little, you know, snacks we bought. And we're gonna leave it in the laundry room. <laughs> Dang. If somebody takes it, they take it. Yeah, just Isn't that better on the floor where somebody's not gonna suspect it? No, I just live here. Yeah. Okay. They're not gonna take this. It's too much trouble for them. Yeah. So I will let the manager you know, know that we yeah. left those things here. Yeah. Okay. So we leave in the bar, the wine. We can survive without it though. So see the elevator even here on this floor is stuck. Yeah. You, you go downstairs and Okay. So guys, this is some of those things that happen when you travel, you know? You can't predict. Oh, sometimes there's just unfortunate things that take place and you got to do what you got to do we have reservations to go to this party tonight we're not dressed properly i have shorts on and the weirdest shoes <laughs> but 
you know, I can't take a shower. I can't, I can't get ready for anything because I'm stuck outside. It's been three hours. So they say one more hour, we can't trust it. And I figured, you know, if you're gonna waste time, let's waste time properly. And let's go drink anyway. Hopefully they let us in, looking the way we look. But uh, fuck it, it is what it is. So I keep you guys posted. And uh, actually, let me show you guys uh, if I can manage to open, you know, this place. Oh uh, man. Okay, well I need the key to get out of here too. So I'm waiting for my friend and when he comes here, I'm gonna show you guys this building don't rent here. The building is a problem. Nice apartment, but how good is it if you can't get inside it? So it is what it is. Everything good? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I just taxied them. Okay. Same the, uh, the, the grocery on the On the thing, home. yeah. Uh, so guys, this is uh, this is the building here. I'll be posting the address online. Do not, do not stay here. Stay tuned. We're about to leave. The maintenance guy showed up. So we'll see what happens now. Yeah, it's the rain. Um, yes. it's an hour. We don't know how long it's gonna take. So, Paolo, what do you think? I think, I think we should still go. What do you think? I will ask, ask him yeah, ask him how long the thing. Man, he's gonna go down there. Oh yeah, yeah. There's no way I do that. <laughs> no way. A porta não tá fechando por isso. Sim. Guys, three hours waiting out here. So it could be quick or it could be long, and we will determine if we're gonna stay on this. We're still here, guys. We're still here. <laughs> it's been about. about and hours is it here? And now, and now that's what it is. So before you enter, check that way. If the elevator is on the right floor. <laughs> they made a law to make sure you're on the right floor. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh, my friend is back. I can't record him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hey, so apparently the elevator is fixed now, so we're gonna get in there. And uh, this has been four hours in the making. Brazil made a special law that you cannot enter the elevator unless you are on the right floor. All right, all right. Let's go. Oh, ciao, ciao, ciao. <laughs> that guy, he yelled at me. He's like, "Don't record me. Don't." Re there's a law against recording. I'm like, shut up. There isn't a law against recording. <laughs> he was scared because I was filming and he wasn't sure if he's doing anything right. So four hours later, oh, here we are. On that floor, we made it. And let me now show you the, the code for this door in case somebody watches this video and wants to get in here. All right. Oh my God. We made it, guys. I can't believe we're at home. We are home four hours later. Man, I, I was. What happened here? No, you just okay. have to wait a little bit. I was. Now okay, that's good. Yeah. I was ready to go. I was like, let's go to the bar and drink. I, I'm not waiting anymore. And then the guy showed up. So now we're here and we're gonna shower and we're gonna go out and enjoy this evening here in Belo Horizonte and see what's up. So, guys, stay tuned for more content. This video, I will call this one. I rented the Airbnb from hell because, <laughs> I mean, as much as I love this apartment, can you imagine? Yo, vacation, time is money. Four hours standing in the grass with your bag. That's horrible. Anyways, guys, please kindly subscribe, press that like button, and hey, let's go to the next venture.